Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Today, we're talking about Alabama's secondary. But before we do, definitely hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. We talk about the corner positions to lead off. As you know, with Patrick Sartan entering the NFL draft, you got Josh Job as the most experienced corner returning to the 2021 season at six foot one. 192 pounds, now a senior. He's played in 39 games overall, tons of experience. Last season in 2020, 55 tackles, two sacks, and 11 pass deflections. Josh Job, as mentioned, very experienced. He's your veteran at that corner position. Now, looking at the additional corner position, it's going to be interesting because I think you're going to have a position battle going into the springtime. Now, look, you got Kyrie Jackson, who's not even on campus yet, who get here during the summertime. From what we've seen from his highlight film, he looks to be a very good corner coming in that has good length, good size, and could fit the role and potentially be a day one impact player. However, at six foot three, 195 pounds, we're not going to be able to see him during the springtime because he's coming in the summertime. So other guys to watch at the corner position. I think you look to Ronald Williams, another junior college transfer, six foot two, 190 pounds, now a senior. In 2020, he had an arm injury, but he played three games, didn't see a lot from Ronald Williams. So we're we're kind of penciling around him as one of the guys to watch at corner going in. Also watch for Jalen Armour Davis, six foot one, 192 pounds, now a redshirt junior. He's played in 17 games during his time at Alabama. He was injured during his inaugural season last season in 2020, just two tackles. So as you can see, there's not a lot of experience coming back at the additional corner position. That's why I like a guy like Kyrie Jackson. Let's look at an early enrollee by the name of Jaquincy McKinstry, six foot one, 180 pounds, I've talked about this before. During the Mississippi and Alabama All-Star game, you could really see what type of corner he was because of his physicality. I know it's tough to start at the corner position for an early enrollee, but I think Jaquincy has that athleticism to be a guy that could potentially fight for a starting corner spot as we go into this spring season. A couple of other guys to mention. You got Marcus Banks, six foot, 180 pounds, now a junior. He's played in 16 games um, in 2020. Nine games played, just two tackles. You have Jacquez Robinson, six foot two, 190 pounds. He's a sophomore, just played in one game during the 2020 season. You also have additional corners coming in as well. And you got Taryn Arnold, the multi talented basketball football player, six foot one, 191 pounds. People like him at safety. He could play corner. So I think we'll just have to kind of wait and see on Taryn Arnold. And then you got Devontae Smith. Yes, another Devontae Smith. I know it's pretty incredible, right? Alabama loses a Devontae Smith and wins the Heisman Trophy. And you just reload with another Devontae Smith, six foot, 195 pounds. Look for him to also be a corner for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Let's move to the star position as they have a ton of experience with Malachi Moore and Brian Branch coming back. Are those two guys going to stay at star? I'm not sure. I mean, I I think on paper, you're just, you instantly slot them there, but I think both those guys probably want to play one of the safety positions. But as we'll talk about with DeMarco Helms, Jordan Battle, Those guys coming back, I think Malachi Moore potentially locked into that star position. Last year, Malachi Moore was fantastic. Six foot two, 182 pounds as a freshman. 12 games played, 44 tackles, three interceptions, one forced fumble, and one fumble recovery, which he returned for a touchdown. He was all over the place. Malachi Moore, one of the top sophomores coming back in the entire country. You also have Brian Branch. Now, during his freshman season, he's six foot one. 190 pounds, played in 12 games. He had 27 tackles, two interceptions, and nine pass deflections. So while Alabama doesn't have a lot of experience at the additional corner spot, you certainly have talent. And then at star, they're completely loaded. This entire secondary group has a lot of experience. And we're now we're going to talk about the free safety and, sit and strong safety position. And you'll be able to understand why this secondary has so much talent going into the springtime. Now, what is Alabama going to do at the free safety spot? Because I think you have two different options right here, two different style of players, which I think will benefit Alabama's secondary overall. You have DeMarco Helms coming in, 6'1", 208 pounds. He's a junior. Last season, I think you really saw his ability to come up and make these bone-jarring hits. How many times did we see maybe a receiver from the opposing team get rattled? It was always DeMarco Helms dropping that big boom, probably the pound-for-pound hardest hitter on the team. You also have Daniel Wright, 6'1", 195 pounds. He's a redshirt senior. He has a ton of experience. He has 86 tackles throughout his career. And he's a different style player than DeMarco Helms in the sense that he's a more of a ball hawk, but he doesn't have that physicality 
in the secondary that you'd like to see from the free safety position. So Alabama does have two options there. And you also have Christian Story and Kane Williams behind both of those young men. So I, I think you certainly have options, but you do have experience with DeMargo Helms and Daniel Wright. I don't think that's a bad thing going in. At the strong safety position, you got Jordan Battle, six foot one, 210 pounds. Hard to believe that he's already going to be in junior this coming season. In 2019, he played 13 games as a freshman. And then in 2020, as a sophomore, he also played in 13 games. So overall, he has 96 tackles. That's a wealth of experience coming back. Jordan Battle is certainly a guy that this team can depend on in big time games, big time situations. Don't sleep on Jordan Battle. We don't talk about him enough. This is a very polished individual that is going to make a lot of plays for the Alabama Crimson Tide during his junior campaign. And then probably behind him, you could probably mix and match maybe even a Malachi Moore or a Brian Branch, six foot, 190 pounds. As we talked about, Brian Branch, very versatile player with a ton of experience. So overall, I really like this group. The secondary, as you can see, has a lot of big time playmakers. Now, the, the biggest question that I have going into this 2021 season, when I look at Alabama's secondary, is which corner is going to step up. I think when you look at the star position, the free safety or strong safety, Alabama, very, very deep, lots of talent in that area. But the corner position, I'm really curious to see which players will rise up during the springtime. And I think you have plenty to choose from, right? Josh Job is clearly the vet coming back, but other guys are going to have opportunities. Jalen Armar Davis, Brandon Turnage, Jaquincy McKinstry, Taryn Arnold, even though he's not going to be here during the, the springtime, he's going to have opportunities to showcase his ability once he gets to Tuscaloosa. And we've seen guys, even though they're not part of the springtime, come in during that August training camp period and really make a name for themselves. I really like Kyrie Jackson. I've talked about him before. Ronald Williams. These are guys that, while we haven't seen him in Alabama uniforms throughout the past couple seasons, anytime the Alabama goes to the junior college ranks, it's more than likely that this player has a certain talent to be an impact player right away. Now, sometimes when these junior college players come in, it might be sometimes a, a hit or a miss. However, I think with Ronald Williams, I think the injury clearly played a big role why he didn't see a lot of time. Plus, you had Patrick Sertan and you had Josh Job. But I think Kyrie Jackson is going to be a special player and he'll play a nice role for the Alabama Crimson Tide during this 2021 season. Hey, I want to hear from you inside the comment box. When you look at Alabama's secondary from the corner position, star position, free safety, strong safety, what do you like? Which player do you think is going to rise up and really make a name for themselves during the springtime and going into this 2021 season? Do you think that this secondary group is better than last season's? I'm telling you, there's a lot of talent returning for the Alabama Crimson Tide. So I want to hear from you inside the comment box. Hey, thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure and hit the like, thumbs up, subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. Thank you very much for being a member of this 50,000 club right here on BamaInsider.com.